Good morning everybody, how are you today? Today our theme of our lesson, Albert. Uh, learning objectives of our lesson, use speaking and listening skills to provide sensitive feedback to peers. Next is evaluate and respond constructively to feedback from others. The next, develop intercultural awareness through reading and discussion. Understand the detail of an argument in unsupported extended talk in a wide range. Uh, the last one is understand the detail of an argument in unsupported extended talk on a wide range of general and curricular topics, including talk on a limited range of unfamiliar topics. Our lesson objectives. Introduce students to the life and accomplishment of Albert Einstein and his influence on the world, reinforcing their public speaking and the presentation skills. Assessment criteria. Employ speaking and listening skills to provide sensitive feedback to peers. Define the detail of an argument in unsupported extended talk topic. Analyze talk and modify language through paraphrase and correction in talk on talk. Okay, today's warm-up activity is thank you to you. Maybe you, uh, you listen about bitter butter. Okay, you can try to repeat after me. Betty bought a bar of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter, so Betty beat a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Okay, you can try. Here you can see the list of assessment for today's lesson and the descriptors. Okay, uh, I want to uh, give you some information about Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was born on March 14, in 1879, German-born physicist who developed the special and general series of relativity and won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921 for his explanation of the photoelectric effect. Einstein in generally considered the most influential physicist of the 20th century. Einstein's parents were secular middle-class Jews. His father, Hermann Einstein, was originally a feather salesman and later ran an electrochemical factory with moderate success, his mother, the former polling coach, ran the family household. He had one sister, Maria, born two years after Albert. Einstein was right that two wonders deeply affected his early years. The first was his encounter with a compass at age five. He was mystified that invisible forces could deflect the needle. This would lead to a lifelong fascination with invisible forces. The second wonder came at age 12 when he discovered a book of geometry, which he devoured, calling it his sacred little geometry book. Einstein became deeply religious at age 12, even composing several songs in praise of God and chanting religious songs on the way to school. This began to change, however, after he read science books that contradicted his religious beliefs. This challenge to establish an authority left a deep and lasting impression at the Leopold Gymnasium. Einstein often felt out of place and victimized by a Prussian-style educational system that seemed to stifle originality and creativity, 
One teacher even told him that he would never amount to anything. Yet another important influence on Einstein was a young medical student, Max Talmud, later Max Talmud, who often had dinner at the Einstein home. Talmud became an informal tutor, introducing Einstein to higher mathematics and the philosophy. A pivotal turning point occurred when Einstein was 16. Talmud had earlier introduced him to a children's science series by Aaron Bernstein, another recent chaffed leech, Bob Bob Butcher, uh, in which the author Im imagined riding alongside electricity that was traveling inside a telegraph wire. Einstein then asked himself the question that would dominate his thinking for the next 10 years. What would a light beam look like if you could run alongside it? If light were a wave, then the light beam should appear stationary like a frozen wave. Even as a child, so he knew that stationary light waves had never been seen. So there was a paradox. Einstein also wrote his first scientific paper at that time. Einstein's education was disrupted by his father's repeated failures at business. In 1894, after his company failed to get an important contract to electrify the city of Munich, Hermann Einstein moved to Milan to work with a relative. Einstein was left at a boarding house in Munich and expected to finish his education. Alone, miserable and repelled by the looming prospect of military duty when he turned 16, Einstein ran away six months later and landed on the doorstep of his surprised parents. His parents realized the enormous problems that he faced as a school dropout and the draft soldier with the employable skills, his prospect didn't look promising. In some sense, Einstein, instead of being a relic, may have been too far ahead of his time. The strong force, a major piece of any unified field theory, was still a total mystery in Einstein's lifetime. Only in the 1970s and 80s did physicists begin to unravel the secret of the strong force with a quark model. Nevertheless, Einstein's work continues to win Nobel Prizes for succeeding physicists. In 1993, a Nobel Prize was awarded to the discoverers of gravitation waves predicted by Einstein. In 1995, a Nobel Prize was awarded to the discoverers of both Einstein condensates, a new form of matter that can occur at extremely low temperatures. Known black holes now number in the thousands. New generations of space satellites <clears throat> have continued to verify the cosmology of Einstein, and many leading physicists are trying to finish Einstein's unlimited dream of the theory of everything. <clears throat> okay, I gave you some information about Einstein's biography. Now, here you can see your task. Um, read and translate the text. And after the text, uh, you can see descriptors of today's task. And next task is delete the wrong word in each of the pairs in italics. For this task, I will give you about three minutes, okay? Then, 
last task is the underlined jumbled words are from the text. Spell them correctly. Uh, do you understand all of the task? I see. Okay, it's time to reflection. Please choose one of these smiles. And you can send it on Platonus with your task, after your task. Your home task is find more information about Albert Einstein and his quotes. Write down quotes on your copy books. You can, set, <coughs> you can send your answers on Platonus or on WhatsApp. Okay, our lesson today is over. Goodbye, students.